having an impact. And we are trying to figure out, though, were there warning signs that were missed leading up to Sunday's shooting in Bend? Supporters of Oregon's red flag law say it has had meaningful intervention, but we are speaking to one lawmaker who's now asking for more. Yeah, Brandon Thompson joins us right now. Brandon, you've been asking the question, could this have been prevented? Were there anything, any signs that we missed? Yeah, there are some certainly things that people are pointing to. A former classmate told the AP that this suspect was violent in high school, as well as we found social media posts that the suspect posted speaking about creating this exact kind of violence. And there is not much law enforcement can do to monitor social media. The Oregon State Police tell us they rely on people telling them about threats made online. The posts were made on Wattpad, a storytelling social media platform. The platform tells us they removed the post within 12 hours and the threats were not posted until Sunday evening, though dates indicate they were drafted in June. Wattpad says they monitor posts, though they did not answer our questions if they monitor draft posts as well and if they cooperate with law enforcement. This fall, Oregon will vote on regulations around gun magazine sizes as well as requiring permits for gun ownership. The shooter was 20 years old, and I spoke with one lawmaker who says we need to reconsider the age of which people can buy and own guns as well. We need to ask ourselves, should a 20 year old have access to an AR-15? Because when you look at science, science says that the impulse action decision making is not fully um, even completed in, in developing until your mid 20s. Solomon also believes Oregon's red flag and extreme risk protection law could be strengthened by speeding up the times that those hearings are held, as well as expanding who can request those protection orders for people who may be a threat. Jeff and Liz, we know that that law right now says that law enforcement, members of the family, members of households can petition for people to remove those guns. Like all these shootings, tragic shooting situations, the gunman kills himself, we never really will know why. Mm -hmm. And we never can answer that question, could it have been prevented? We yeah. just have to keep looking for answers. We do. Yeah. yeah, and it reminds me of how you're saying law enforcement really can't do a lot in terms of monitoring it, so it's up to all of us to yeah. see something and say something, too. That's exactly right. Brandon, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Brandon. We're going to continue to follow updates on this story and dig into this issue affecting communities all across our region and, of course, the nation. Always, you can find the latest at coin.com.